Oh, he's gonna get it from me. Ooh. Ooh, he should uh he should be he should be skiad. Oh <laughs> period. Period. Louise Bestie, can I say something before you do? I took a gamble by voting you out, and I knew that a hundred percent. But if I had kept you in, you were already upset with me. And I think I was going home regardless. I took a bet that if I kept Bloody in, I would be able to work with her and Antonio and parlay it super deep and it didn't pay off. But I still feel good about that decision. If you feel good about it, that makes one of us. So, I'm kidding, I don't care. <laughs> We're all losers. I know, right? <laughs> and, and also, can I say that speech you gave before we voted was so damn good, it made me vote you. It was, it was like, I was like, I was like, I cannot leave this woman in the game, especially if she was angry with me, because I cannot out that. I wasn't that. even angry with you. I was just like, I was like, listen, if he said my name, he said my name. There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> yeah. But um, I think I know who voted for me, so. It was CJ. CJ voted for oh, Bloody. Oh, was CJ? CJ voted Bloody, Michael voted you, and I voted you. Right. And then everything else was tribal lines. That's what I thought. I thought CJ, because CJ is the one that told me bloody, so I felt like it was going to be weird if it wasn't him. Yeah. No, Which, CJ's with Jenny, I think. I think Jenny and CJ are pretty close. A lot of things happened over last night, I suppose. That yeah. I just went to bed. I also just went to bed, dude. But I was, I, I I'm going to be honest, me messaging people would have only hurt my game. I feel pretty confident about that. I think I'm already such a, such a visible person that like being sneaky in messages, I think benefits like a Michael or a CJ, but it does not benefit Ben. Have you, have you seen Michael play before? No. What a guy. I, he hosted me in my first ever game five years ago. Oh, wow. Um, he is so good at getting to the end. It's harder for him to win, but he's so sneaky. When he came up as most trustworthy, I wanted to laugh. I was, I was, um, when I was in here by myself, um, and I was saying like, even long term, I don't think Bloody's even that big of a threat. I think it's Antonio you need to watch out for. I, that's so. what I was fucking telling people. I'm, I'm so annoyed. I told, I told Aaron and Jenny that, and. It's just that pitching Antonio, Antonio will throw such a bitch fit in in Temple, and then it will like he's so good at that. That's what he, and I, like I was trying to tell people like, did you see how he reacted to being called a sneak? Like me and Bloody had, had our names, like, we had our names eyes. dragged through mud, but then Antonio's called a snake, and it's like it's like he he got bombed. Like get get over yourself. That's exactly <laughs> what I was saying. I was like when I was in a room with him at the beginning, and he was really upset about being a snake, and you were there, and he had like dabbed the corner of his eye as if he had, was like tearing up. I fell for him in that moment, but Don't like I was wrong. like, I'm sure it hurt, but he played that brilliantly, and it's just. It's hard to tell that to people who don't have that awareness. Exactly. And especially in a game like this where you can't like talk to somebody and explain it long term. Like he's just like in, in the mini format, it's really hard to quickly get people to, like, if they didn't see a certain moment, it's hard to get them to realize. And I do think as well, like I, I, I was saying in here, I was like, who, who do you expect it to be here next? I was like, I could see like a CJ or something because I don't think they'll go continuously voting out the minority, whatever, because yeah. it's it's boring and it's stupid. And in the long run, there's a final three, not a final six. Like you have to be smart about keeping your options open to turn on the people you're working with at the right time. So you end up in that final three. Yeah. You, need to, you need to time that. And these people aren't here. And I will say one thing that has really started to annoy me, just sitting here as a juror, I didn't notice it before every single thing anyone says you were sitting there talking about how big of a threat bloody was bloody nods along to everything yeah i i, I noticed that I, I was like and i think that's smart for her she doesn't let herself get involved in fights but it definitely is like it, it like she and i picked up on this the second i saw her is she just is brilliantly able to downplay and play off her threat level she is going to be protected by people because she will be the big shield hoping to get her out in fourth or fifth maybe yeah like cut her at the pipper at the post but it's yeah. gonna be someone like antonio who uses that to his advantage and then wins the boat the two yeah. of them are the most likely to win at this point and i'll vote 100%. for jenny just from pure being able to survive every single round and then jocelyn jocelyn 
has only been eligible to be voted for once. I love Jocelyn. I actually think Jocelyn has played a killer game. You see, Tracy made herself a non-entity by being elder, while Jocelyn parlayed it into just being involved in everything. Mm -hmm. I actually really love Jocelyn's game. She also doesn't give you much. She will let you talk and she will take that. She hardly gives. I really like Jocelyn and Jenny's game. I, I just, I hope that Michael and CJ realize that getting to the end and saying, oh, I was using them as a shield and I was playing under the radar and you guys never targeted me, that doesn't impress me. Like, I hope they realize that for me and you, that doesn't do anything. I don't want to hear how you used somebody else to hide yourself. I want to hear how you played to win. I, and I, I like, yeah. like, I think there are brilliant under the radar games that do that perfectly. I just think Michael and CJ think they're doing that far more successfully than they are. bummer to see Jenny out like I don't want her to go out I want her to be in the end with me but I think I made a huge mistake for throwing a vote on bloody so yeah that cost oh gosh I should have voted Tracy oh what did I do I would have Bloody, what the hell happened? I have no clue. Hi, Tracy. Was... So one of my teammates voted against me. One of my tribe voted against me. And yeah, one okay, of so what was voted the... against you, huh? I was going to say, what was the breakdown? There were two votes for me and then three for you or two no, for you? one for you, three for me. One three for me. For yeah. Okay. So I know Jocelyn and Jenny both voted for me. One of us voted for me. And then one of us voted for you. Yeah. That's so awesome. clearly someone someone in here is snaking in the grass. Yeah. Ooh. Um, well, my vote was for Jenny. Yeah, mine, mine was, was for Jenny. Jenny as well. Yeah. Yeah, I voted for Oh. oh. CJ is terrible at lying, which is actually quite helpful. Um, so I'm no longer as uh, motivated to get rid of him because I, I do think that I have a really good read on him. Uh. I'm just gonna do damage control, keep denying that I vote out um, Bloody or, you know, Tracy. I didn't vote out Tracy, so I'm gonna keep denying on that. But at the same time, I need to make a move now that my closest ally, <laughs> um, one of my closest ally, Jenny, is out, so uh, I need to figure it out. I need to figure out how to get out of this hell hole. Ugh. I just wish. I just wish. I just. I should have voted with them, so it's gonna be a tie. Damn, sorry. I'm so sorry, Jenny. I messed up. I messed up so pretty bad. Dude. You're close for comfort, though, man. That was too. Yeah. <laughs> well, those, those are your first votes, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Wild stuff. Yep. Those are my first votes. For me, I'm like, water under the bridge. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> I only got one this time. I know, I'm improving. It's like slowly going down. Uh, I know that Tracy was a big vote last round, or at least a name. Tracy and Aaron are incredible votes. And that without Tracy, I worry that I'm losing kind of the glue that is holding Aaron and I together. And even this past round, she's been visibly shaken. Um, and I don't know, I don't know what to do with that. Um, I, I definitely want her sticking around because I, I, I think that we're still tight. And I can't foresee a moment where she is turning on me in the next round or two. Uh-huh. It's all good. It's fun. But I was very, I, I was very honored when Jenny said I'm playing a good game. I'm like, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was like, I'll take that compliment and run. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with that.
Mm-hmm. I didn't even know Traces gave that many votes. <laughs> that was wild. And someone yeah. voted for Bloody. Well, so I was told by Jocelyn and Jenny that you and CJ were also going to vote for Tracy. Tracy. And so I was like, yeah, I was like, that's weird. But, you know, I stuck with it. Uh, no, I was in the room. I it got like pitched and I was like, I'm open to it. But if it was Jocelyn, I'm going to be honest, if it was you, I would have been way more open to doing the move. But Jenny has thrown my name out like three times already. So yeah. for me, it made no sense to keep Jenny in the game. Um, yeah. mm-hmm. And that was my thought process. There were some things I did not see happening that happened. I actually got convinced towards the end that Tracy was being voted out and I was left out, but it was four to three to one and Jenny left. Thank goodness I needed Jenny to go. She was on my radar since the very first round of the merge and I'm glad she's gone now. Um, We've taken out Louise, taken out Ben, taken out uh, Jenny and yes, like we are all sticking together and I get the uh, want for a big splashy move, but in my current position, I ain't gonna be the one messing with it. You know, when when you got this golden, perfect road to the end where people do not think you're a threat, you're pretty much aligned with everybody in your OG tribe, and they're already starting to fight from amongst each other. It puts me in a prime position to sit back, get in the driver's seat, <laughs> and drive what's gonna happen without getting any blood on my hands. I've had zero votes cast against me. My name has never, ever once even been brought up as a vote a target, a threat, anything. I can't believe that. That is the best position to be in in this game. I'm never in this position. So I am really happy right now with what's going on. Um, I think that, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna be really uh, making some big decisions here. Yeah. Jocelyn, did you do Tracy? Yeah, I had to try. She and I were in mm-hmm. a room together and she immediately left it. Like, of the two choices, there's nothing in Tracy's game for my game. You know what I mean? It was nothing personal. It was just... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, things are gonna get spicy this round though. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you need to like worry a ton. Like I honestly think some moves gonna be made. I would be surprised if you're voted out. So and mm-hmm. I don't know where the move's gonna go. It could be on me, it could be on anybody, mm-hmm. but uh, after that vote and people turning against Tracy and whatever happened, like there's gonna be some Do we know here. who the bloody vote was? Yeah, that, what was that? <laughs> Cause that's really what did it. If the bloody yeah. vote would have gone Tracy. Yeah. It would have been a tie. So can you keep a secret? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I won't say anything. Because I was Is told it that. You? Oh, Are because you I was. T- <laughs> because I was told that um, it would. It was Tracy would be gone without me. I wanted to to make sure. Because okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be real honest. I didn't want to fully believe that both Michael and CJ were with it. Yeah. And so. I'm well, that's why, like, Michael she kept talking it. over me because I was trying to say, like, CJ's fully in and Michael, like, was part of the conversation. And I think he might. And then, like, she kept kind of going, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, like, she's like, Michael's in, Michael's in. Yeah. So I, I, I was, was there. Like, well, <laughs> it's like, just like, the, it was just like the bloody vote the first time where I was there. Like, I, I was thinking things through still. That wasn't my last room I was in, right? Um, mm-hmm. And I think your exact words were, I would consider it, which in this right. game, why yeah. wouldn't you literally consider anything that's presented exactly. to you? Like <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go run to the shelter just because um, I feel like Tracy's gonna be mad, and I feel like fingers will okay. be pointed at me if I don't talk okay, to her. Yeah, so. no, that's I yeah. get it. I get yeah, it. Good. <laughs> You're in a good spot now. I think. <laughs> um, I fucked up. I fucked up. Um, I voted for Tracy. And yeah, it, it was not the best move for me, or it was the best move for me, but it didn't end up working. Okay. So with that vote, um, I just want to say my part in it. Um, yeah. I'm going to be honest and say I voted for you, Bloody. Um, yeah. Just because the last thing I was told from both Jocelyn and, um, and Jenny was that there were already votes to get Tracy out that my vote wouldn't. And so from that, my vote wouldn't have mattered where I voted. So I wanted to call their bluff. I wanted to see if they were, you know, really saying that people were with them or if they were um, just saying that to try and pull me over to flip. Yeah, Um, no, that's super smart. There was a throne vote on Bloody and I kind of think that was from herself. Um, And so I went into a room with her and I claimed it and she kind of went along with it. So... Either she, you know, just believes it. It was from someone else. It was either from Bloody or from Michael. Um, so I, 
I tried to play that off really well. I don't think I did. I'm not sure if they believe me. I didn't get to touch base with everyone. How funny, like Antonio voting me and then being like, sorry, I I need to do that as a ruse. Um, I, I don't know what the fuck that was, but that was so strange. And he's doing a lot lately. Um, he's been winning a lot lately. lately. And I have to imagine that he is going to become uh, somewhat of a target on, uh, in this next round or two. So uh, I would say that this is his competition to lose, um, but unfortunately he might win. But one of us voted against me. Do we know which one mm. it was that I need to keep my, I need to watch my back? Um, I'm not too sure yet. Uh, the others in the other room said it wasn't them. I'm assuming. Oh, that's funny. No one None of us. It's them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, okay. It's good um, to Yeah. I mean, that, that's, that's kind of all I know. About the vote. That shaken um, up the this that vote shaken up our tribe, like, uh, our, like yeah. you know, our Guyan. Like, I don't know. I'm sure I Jocelyn is like, yes, just, finally, yeah. <laughs> like, finally some new moves. game. <laughs> Jocelyn, you're. <laughs> Yeah, I enjoy will, the enjoy the I'll show because this has been bubbling yeah. up. I think for a little bit. I think there's been some. It like, has to like yeah. there's yeah. There's nowhere yeah. else to go. I think by process of elimination, as long as I can believe Michael, which I think I can, he was certainly wanting Jenny out, so it doesn't make sense why he would vote Tracy. Um, so I think CJ was the Tracy vote, um, which is not surprising. I felt the whole time that CJ is probably the person most likely to turn on Guyon. So um, certainly need to talk to him, need to talk to Antonio. Um, I definitely want to work with Jocelyn moving forward, but um, Jocelyn definitely can't get to the end because the jury is all original Aaron and um, they are going to vote for, um, I think they would vote for Jocelyn to win if she made it there. Uh, but certainly need to work with her for a little bit and I feel good about her as well. I'm not going anywhere near that room because I saw the look on Tracy's face when she was like, oh, here we go. (laughs) Hi. Hello. You made it. I did make it. All right. I just want to I want to know which one of my team members voted against me. (laughs) Right? That, unfortunately, I can't help you with. I can tell you I did, but that comes as no surprise. Yeah, I knew you did. I know you did. I knew Jenny did. But one of my tribal members has officially turned on me. And Antonio said he had voted for Bloody, so. Because he had hurt. He wanted to mix things up and see. He wanted to call people's bluff on on Jenny, so. He voted for Bloody. So that just leaves someone, uh, hmm. Yeah, Michael and CJ, right? It would be Michael and CJ, yeah. And Michael, I don't think, would turn against me, so. Yeah, I don't think so either. So CJ flipped on me. Well, that makes it real easy when it comes down to figuring out who, uh, once we get Jocelyn out of here, what, who's next? Um, yeah, I think hopefully Jocelyn will be next, and then uh, my vote next is going to be CJ. I'm pretty sure, although that could change. So we'll see. We'll see who has immunity for this challenge and uh, we'll go from there. But these breakout room sessions are definitely becoming more helpful. And it seems like everyone's being a whole lot more open, except for, well, CJ told me he voted for Jenny. Lies, all lies. I'm uh, still holding on, holding strong. And uh, I'm hoping to make it to final three. Let this elder kick some youngin's ass. Welcome back to the Challenge Grounds, everyone, here again to compete for your individual shot at the Eternal Flame. So our next challenge is called the Venus de Milo. The Venus de Milo was an ancient Greek statue that was discovered in 1820. Since then, it has been officially on display in the Louvre. Despite it being a Greek statue, the Venus de Milo was named after Aphrodite's Roman counterpart, Venus. The statue had a very unique feature to it, which was that it was missing its arms, which brings us to this challenge. For this challenge, you will need one blindfold and nine plastic cups. 
At the start of the challenge, you will be blindfolded. Throughout the entirety of this challenge, you will not be able to use your hands and your hands must be behind your back. On our go, you must remove your blindfold and then unstack your cups and assemble them in a stack of three, followed by an additional three, two, and then one cup on top. First person to complete this stack wins the eternal flame. Prometheans ready in three, two, one, go. Three, two, one. Antonio has it. Congratulations, Antonio. What a disappointing end to what started as such a fun season. Like I don't know. I, I I can see like if you're a majority, you don't have too much of a reason to flip. Like I think it's dumb to base the quality of the game on entertainment value. But it's just it just sucks, you know. I like I just have. With that said, I think it's really just it's disappointing. Yeah, to see like especially somebody like Jenny. I think you were a huge threat. I think I had my way out the door anyways. It's shocking to me that they didn't want to use Jenny to make a move. I don't get that at all. She seemed very open to wanting to work with people, especially after we both left. She was just like, and she she's always been open about it. I feel like Jenny's someone that you could really trust if you put your game into her hands. I, I think it's really bizarre. I don't, like, I just don't understand the decision to stick together as a six at all. I'm curious if Jenny voted herself out, too. If she voted bloody. And, um, or I'm curious who voted bloody and prevented the tie, too, because it was 4-4. Four, four. It was. 
to say that a move wasn't made, I guess, isn't inherently true. Um, but yeah, I, I, yeah, it's, that, I don't understand it at all, man. Hey! Ah! Hello! Hello! I, I'm playing Sims. You're playing Sims, yeah. It's us three. Hello! Oh my Jenny, God. I'm so disappointed to see I'm you so here. Sad. Oh, no, it was like so, so weird. Um, because who voted Tracy, and do you know who voted Bloody? I honestly have no idea. I feel like the person that voted Bloody was like, I don't know who would do that because that was just like such a throwaway vote because it would have been a tie, right? Yeah. Um, I, so I know for sure it was me, Jocelyn, and CJ that voted uh, Tracy. Good. CJ is gonna have like an uphill battle for sure. Do you think he'll be joining us next? I don't know if, I feel like if Michael is smart enough, I feel like he would join forces with CJ and Jocelyn and maybe Antonio to get Bloody out finally or to get Tracy out. I don't understand why Michael has stayed so strong with them. I don't get that for him. Yeah, I think yeah. like we were talking a little bit after I was sent home. I think Michael thinks he's being like really smart by keeping Antonio and Bloody in, but all mm. it's really doing is completely removing his own agency in the game. Mm. Like, yeah, I think yeah. he's banking on coming to Final Tribal and claiming he had this shield strategy, yeah. but I don't think that's what it is at all. I think he's being straight up used by Bloody, and I guess Aaron and Tracy, but primarily Bloody and Antonio to keep themselves in. And like, Ben, first of all, like, I can't believe, like, I feel like if you had just voted for um, Bloody that round, like we would have, cause we had CJ. I mean, I, I really, uh, I feel- You messed that up. The decision has aged terribly. I really <laughs> do miss that up big time, I know. I am definitely going to be like a hard ass juror because what, they are doing is just like not cool. I, I don't think I would um, vote for Erin if she got to the, the. Oh, I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, I just I don't respect that game. Neither do I. I just she's not making. If she wants the jury, like what you said about the jury, remember who you're sending to the jury. Remember what we're thinking, because if every juror on the way out is saying like. Bloody is the biggest threat to win. Aaron, you have no shot to win. Mm -hmm. And Aaron now does nothing to basically change that. She can't be upset that she loses because yeah. we're the people that make the decision. Whether or not yeah. the people around you think that doesn't matter because mm -hmm. it's us who do yeah. matter. Like, not to make my own head kind of big, but like it's us that do matter. We make the final decision. And mm -hmm. if they send Jocelyn straight out as well, if she doesn't want to move, they send Jocelyn yes. here. We have four, four of the seven jurors are us. Yeah. Like, that's the silliest thing I've ever heard. Really? <laughs> it's ridiculous. It is. I just, I can't. I can't with them. I don't know what they're thinking. Yeah, I, I'm interested to see. Like, I think, I think Bloody is playing this fine. I think she was put in a great position and she's playing it just like she should. I think Antonio's playing particularly great. Mm -hmm. um, I think Jocelyn's playing the best she could, but she's playing from a pretty unplayable position. Yeah. CJ has been wanting to flip this whole time, but hasn't been able to. Yeah. And then Michael, yeah. I think, thinks he's outthinking everybody, but I don't think he is. Or at least I'm yeah. not impressed by him at all to make up for what he's not doing. Yeah, for um, sure. I will give CJ credit because at least he's showing us that he knows what he should be doing. Yeah. Which is more than someone like Michael can say. Mm -hmm. Like if it was like a Michael CJ like final whatever, I would always vote CJ over Michael at this point because CJ has shown me that he your vote is so powerful. And even if you know you're not gonna get your own way, sometimes it's worth it just to vote that way anyway, to show us that you're not being complacent in what is basically you're playing for someone else. Yeah. 
it's so I heard Jocelyn wins immunity, or I heard that she somehow like in that mix, people trust her and she makes it to the end. Like that would be so impressive to me. Another immunity win. Um, I definitely, I don't know. I feel like I need that a bit. Um, partially after just the whole conundrum of last vote. Um, I think the blame did fall on CJ. Nice job, Antonio. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm like still out of breath. Right? Uh... Woo! Hello, oh, how did that go? <gasps> <laughs> I feel you, girl. <laughs> I'm still catching my breath. Oh my gosh. Woo! My core cannot do that. <laughs> Wow. Wow. I'm sure this is a long shot, but I'm going to make the only play I can. Um, messaging Jenny and I, actually, he brought it up in a breakout room with us yesterday that he felt like he was bottom rung of the team. Uh-huh. Trying to make he, CJ's been trying to make a move with me and Jenny since yesterday afternoon. So mm-hmm. take that information for what you will. If it's exactly. worth, you know, next turn, you're going to have to start cannibalizing anyway. Mm-hmm. If it is worth keeping me around to make that move now, that's that's the only information that I have to be able to share. So it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good to know. <laughs> Good to know. Thanks. Yeah. I can bounce if you guys want to talk about me. No, we don't have to. I mean, we're where we have to be for, so. So the closer we get to the end of this game, the more awkward and uncomfortable these breakouts are getting. I really don't know how this is going to go. Temple could get ugly. What's up? Hey. Hello. I love the giant wealth that I have on my forehead now. <laughs> I feel like I'm blind right now. Wait, give me one second. How do you guys feel about where we're at compared to everyone else? Because I feel like personally, I would want to go to the end with you two the most. I feel like I'm having such a fun time playing this because I think I'm a wolf in sheep's clothing. <laughs> I feel like I'm uh, doing a lot more than is being uh, suspected and talked about, and that's great. Um, I This round, Antonio once again won immunity, which honestly makes a huge bullseye on his back. But luckily, I was able to get in a room with Aaron and CJ, and I was just like, hey, like us three are being disrespected by the jury. I think our only chance of winning this game is against each other, and I think we need to go to the end together. And I've already been super close with CJ and super close with Aaron individually. We gotta figure out how are we gonna do this? We gotta figure out seven, six, five, and four. Who we wanna go win? Yeah. I think Tracy's the best to bring to four just because we can beat her in a challenge. Mm-hmm. But yeah. she would win if she made the end, if that makes sense. Yeah. I think we should take out. I'm not sure if you guys are on board with, you know, in, in case that in later on Antonio we didn't win immunity challenge, right? Because he's first, gonna. Like, the first time he it. doesn't, Ooh. the first time he doesn't, let's, let's do that. Right when but he doesn't. For now. Yeah. Who do you guys want to do this round? Because it seems like uh, I've heard Bloody's name. I've heard Jocelyn's name. I've heard your name, CJ. Yeah, CJ's name is out there. So Michael and CJ and I are saying like, okay, we're going to be a three. Like these are the three that um, I feel like we're kind of on the bottom of the um, of the totem pole. Um, but I definitely like the Antonio Jocelyn group as well. Although honestly, on that note, I do think the three of us could do something very low key. Um, I would like that. Because I just think that, like, for one, if there's a round of strike, I think it's going to be this round. Um, yeah. That someone, like, people are getting antsy to do a move. So I'm going to try and ride those two groups as much as possible. Do you know so... who draw, draw out my name? Hmm? No. Did you know who draw out my name? I'm just curious. Um, well, I think it's... Well, I think Jocelyn, I think Jocelyn knows that you were the vote on Tracy or thinks that you were the vote on Tracy. Mm -hmm. Um, And so I think Tracy is kind of thinking you too. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, gosh. 
Hi everyone, it's your boy CJ and your boy is actually in danger. I've heard my name thrown out there. So I'm pretty nervous that I might go home. So we're voting out, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's between for us, Bloody or Jocelyn here. Because mm-hmm. I, I think keeping Tracy smart just for us mm-hmm. knowing we can beat her in a challenge at Final Four. So is anyone giving you anything or are you all getting the what are your thoughts kind of stuff? I'm getting what are your thoughts. Um, <sighs> I mean, I feel like I'm just busting in on everyone else's conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Who's missing? Bloody's not in a room right now. Really? Yeah, unless she's like in between somewhere. Hey, Bloody, are you okay? Yeah, sorry. My computer just decided to stop. <laughs> okay, just checking in. Appreciate it. I'm going to just join a breakout. Um, so what are you thinking? What are you hearing? Um, I've heard I've heard uh, CJ's name thrown out there. Um, and I've heard Bloody's name thrown out there mm-hmm. so far. Okay. Um, I don't know, like, what is actually happening now. Okay. How do you guys feel? <laughs> <sighs> so just everyone just messaging people, basically. <laughs> it's not what happened. Everyone Everyone thinks so. <laughs> people you know I don't know I'm gonna hop over and see what's going on guys so y'all getting anything in your messages getting some some interesting messages for sure um yeah I guess we can talk about it (laughs) uh Mm -hmm. I feel like this is tough. I feel bad because I've been with all these people but for like, this has only been two days, but I mean, no offense to you, Jocelyn, but like no, it was I usually the it. first few votes when I hadn't spent no time with any of those three people to write their name down. But now it's like, I get it. The game, it's game time. It's game time. So it still mm-hmm. sucks. It's still, yeah. I, I honestly think you're good. Thoughts, anyone? Um, well, oh. well, actually what Jocelyn is, uh, throwing my name out so <laughs> I mean I'm definitely gonna vote for her because if you know if she's gonna keep targeting me then what else can I do right what I, do you think? I'm thinking Jocelyn mm-hmm. yeah yeah for me too yeah but uh, do you think everyone is on board? Because yeah. I'm worried with that with the split vote happening last mm-hmm. round that I don't think that Gayan is gonna stick with with this vote. So I'm just worried that we don't have the numbers yet. Um, I don't even know who. Uh, it sounds like my name is out. Dang, uh, what a round to just have my internet crap out on me. Um, I come back to find out from Antonio that I guess my name was being thrown out, which fucking sucks. No, Michael said that, but everybody I talked to, he said that that's what he heard. It wasn't him, but I, uh, I'm i hearing um, Jocelyn across the board. Okay. Because I've been talking to, Michael is definitely on board with Jocelyn and Antonio is uh, like why are these people so obsessed with me like literally especially considering that fucking Antonio all of them is just dominating competitions it's like uh, it sucks I think the thing offers like Tracy's gonna be pissed and right I don't know I don't know I mean I don't know what she could do on her own without I, Tracy's already pissed at me so yeah. I'm already in that boat regardless of how this boat goes and she's already mm-hmm. pissed at CJ because CJ wrote her name so mm-hmm. which probably means we can get CJ with us on this I would say I'm down I'm down too down. I'll lock it in right now not gonna lie about my vote so I feel mm-hmm. bad doing it honestly uh, because she's been like, I, I just feel bad for her, her, her whole uh, story arc this season because she kind of got like Jeff right off the bat put a target on her, and I feel like it's just snowballed. But at the same time, like per, like everyone's been saying, perceptions reality. So if everyone thinks she's gonna win, if she makes the end, she wins. So like, the right thing for us is to do that. Um, I'm good with it. Yeah, let's do it. 
All right. I wonder who she is voting for. Um, I could be completely being fooled, and it could just be everybody voting me out, and that's that. Michael seems set that he wants to make a move. I don't know what Antonio is going to do. The vote here is probably going to fall on Bloody, though, um, which I don't want because she is the biggest threat. She's the biggest shield left in the game. Um, and I just keep stupidly making myself a bigger and bigger threat by, you know, winning immunity. Um, I think at this point, I just have to gun for every immunity possible um, because if I don't, then um, I'll be out, I think. Um, so I'll try my hardest. No one else seems to be keeping up, really. So Tracy, oh my gosh, I don't know. It's, <laughs> this is insane. Like, I can still get, can get over last round with the votes, the vote turnout. Like someone's, you know, obviously didn't vote with us. Shit's getting backstabby. That's all I can say. So, we know it was CJ who voted for me. That's what everyone's saying. But um, CJ's like, I don't know where they got that idea. So, I don't believe him. Um, Andrew, Antonio openly admitted voting for Bloody. Um, I think we should stick to the original plan. Vote Jocelyn off now. And, uh, and CJ off next. However, Jocelyn brings up a good point. You know, CJ wants to see me gone. So, and he's getting kind of backstabby. So what do we do? Now I heard, okay. Now Antonio said he voted for, um, that he, yeah, he voted for bloody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I heard you voted for me because you were low man on the totem pole. <laughs> oh, I know I am the low man, but I didn't vote for you. Yeah, I voted for Jenny. Yeah, and I'm not sure why would Jocelyn think that um, I would vote for you. Um, I know that CJ is getting votes, though. Um, it sounds like Aaron and uh, Tracy are in coordination to vote CJ, so... I don't know. Either way, we're headed into a pretty mm, spicy vote. <laughs> so, hey, so what's going on? Um, people are uh, talking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. A lot of names are being thrown out there, honestly. It sounds yeah. like. Yeah. I've heard like three now. Adam <laughs> Jocelyn, this is like the best for you, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Like, but yeah, I mean, what a mess. You um, survived the storm. <laughs> doesn't feel good. <laughs> no, 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 no. Of course, of course. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't know. What a, what a mess. I don't think that Antonia would necessarily want to get rid of me at this point. Because God forbid I'm gone, then suddenly, like, who the hell is he going to target? Um, and who the hell is going to want to target someone other than him? Um, I mean, what I, the, I'm, are, what are the three names? Uh, CJ, Jocelyn, and you? Yeah. Okay. That's all I've heard. Like, I, I literally, I was just going to say, I was just on a call with CJ and I can't even remember who else. All I know is I would like to still stay here, obviously. Yeah. Um, but yeah, good Lord. Um, I, I'm okay with anyone. Um, and Jocelyn, again, like this goes with you as well. Like it, like who would we want to, like, I know that Tracy came up at some point, um, not only in this round, but last round. And I mean, you guys know, I love her, but, um, yeah. Yeah. Tracy's definitely more of a player than I think has been let on. She's let on or people yeah. have said. I respect her game big time. She says it how it is and she does it. All right, so welcome back to the temple. So let's just hop right into it. So as usual, you know, Bloody, your name has been up time and time and time again. But last time at the temple, you've actually only received one vote where it was a split between Jenny and Tracy. Do you feel a little bit more confident? I never feel confident. I, I, I don't know if like, I just have like a resting confidence face, but I am incredibly not confident. I'm very insecure and very like scared at, at any given moment in time. Um, and I think that's the nature of a game like this, where it's like, you kind of always have to be on your toes. I think the second you get complacent in a game like this is the second you go home. So I am trying to um, 
practice a healthy dose of uh, pessimism with everything I do. Okay. So I saw big smiles and big nods from CJ. CJ, would you like to elaborate on anything Bloody said, especially the complacency comment? Yeah, definitely. I agree with uh, Bloody Wood and that, that's why I nod. It's, yeah, every when you become complacent that, oh, you're going to be safe, that you're, you know, everyone who thinks they are safe, you know, they might just need to think again. And who knows? When I, I mean, like, especially right now, we're able to do um, messenger chat at this round. So people can just, you know, have like a secret plan or, you know, vote out someone who, you know, you didn't, expect to so you just need to be um reassured that the allies that you um trusted in this um in this round or at this point is gonna go with you till the end or hopefully in the next few rounds Okay. So if we look at the lineup again, you know, Jocelyn, you and Jenny were supposedly on the outs. I mean, and alongside with the complacency side, someone's got to be complacent, at least I would think. So how are you feeling? Do you think this might be the time someone actually uses you or incorporates you into the vote? If if the shoe is on the other foot, I certainly feel like I would be. Um, but I don't feel in any way confident or <laughs> secure either. Um, I haven't been hearing anything that makes me feel incredibly safe or confident. Um, so I, you know, I'm in the same boat that I have been for quite a while now. Tracy, moving on to you. So alongside Jenny and Bloody, you also received votes last time at the temple and you only had one less than Jenny did. How do you feel? Well, the fact that one of my teammates voted against me, I was I was pretty surprised. Um, that put me on my toes so hard. <laughs> so which was a really good thing. Um, definitely not becoming complacent whatsoever. Um, I think at this point, I'm kind of lining up in my head if I make it to the end, you know, as far as because eventually, let's face it, even if Jocelyn goes after this one, it's just cannibalism now. So, you know, and, and that's just that's just a fact. So I don't know. I'm just like, but yeah, after that last round, when, you know, when people you thought were your allies and someone flips on you, then, you know, now now I'm on a, an entire different mindset, you know, and uh and I think that's good. And that's good. I think that's going to get me far. So I'm OK with that. So whoever that was, um, thanks for uh, giving me that little shove. <laughs> now, with that, though, Tracy, has anyone actually admitted to voting you? No. I mean, fingers were pointed, of course. But, um, you know, and then, of course, well, and then you ask and then, you know, of course, there's denial, but that's OK. It doesn't matter. It's it's uh it's all it's all good. It's all good. So we'll see. Uh, sometimes that just makes things a little easier down the line, you know. So, Aaron, ending with you, what do you think might happen tonight, especially if it isn't that simple? Why do you always end with me? I feel like I'm always the last person. Um, I think that. Um, oh gosh. Um, I think that people are going to make the move that they feel is going to get them further in the game. Um, people from the outside maybe can see it to various levels, um, but I think whatever your perception of what somebody else is doing, um, they're probably, you know, doggy paddling pretty hard under the surface. Interesting. Well, I guess we will see with the vote what's going to happen and who will make it to the next cycle of the game. On that note, Please submit your vote and your voting confessional. I hope um, our plan works. Third time's the charm, I guess. If not, then damage control. I think we're getting down to every man for himself here, and I think that that, um, that temple was definitely clear on that one. And I still believe it was CJ, and I, um... I'm, start get, I'm starting to get this lineup of a, of a pecking order now of who I want to see go. I keep coming into these rounds thinking that I'm going to know what the fuck is happening and uh, I leave them not knowing what the fuck is happening. All I know is that my name is out there 
Uh, CJ's name is out there and Tracy's name is out there. So it's like throwing a dart at a really far away dartboard. All right, the votes are in. Once the votes are read, the decision is final. Person with the highest amount of votes will be sacrificed from the game. First vote, Jocelyn. Second vote, Bloody. That's one vote, Jocelyn. One vote, Bloody. Third vote, Tracy. That's one Bloody, one Jocelyn, one Tracy. Fourth vote, Bloody. That's two Bloody. Fifth vote, Bloody. That's three votes bloody, one vote Jocelyn, one vote Tracy. And the next person sacrificed from the game, bloody. Bloody, do you have any final thoughts? Dang, and the round I go, y'all make me vote Tracy, huh? Um, yeah, it's kind of a bit of a bummer. I think I mean, I'm going to save my words. Like, y'all know who's running the thing. Um, certainly wasn't me. I think we all found that out. Um, but I, I deeply appreciate everyone here except for Jocelyn. I don't really know you. Um, and, um, have a good game, like show up. I don't know. Like, I mean, this was a good start. I love you guys. Seriously. Head on over to the Prometheus YouTube page for additional scenes and content. Okay. Oh my God. So um, day two. Wow, man. Um, It's funny because, uh, you know, you come in with the majority as uh, our OG guy guy and tribe uh, did. And you think it's going to be easy. And it was far from it. I mean, I think we had a couple of uh, votes where we we started gaining some momentum. But at some point, like, you know, like people just start wanting to eat each other. Um, and uh, definitely um, did not do enough work on uh, the Jocelyn front to bring her over. Of course, the round that I go is the round that my computer uh, craps out. So, um, touche, uh, well played. Uh, and I, I said it before and I'll say it again, the blackout rounds were made for me. Um, I am not one for a good messy uh, messenger game, uh, but if you give me if you give me the proper time and the proper like rooms, uh, I can bop around and I can I can hold a vote. Um, so I'm I'm deeply proud of the game that I played here, um, and what a journey! 